Yo what's up guys welcome to my humble youtube channel where I bring you fanfiction that will brighten your days. Before we start a subscribe is greatly appreciated and don't forget to leave a like and ring the bell icon so you won't miss exciting new fanfiction stories. Tensura X Coat. The God and the Genius by Tempest underscore Moon. Chapter 12 Schemes and Plans Rimuru Pav, she sure was, it was quite amusing. She found it amusing huh, that's new. I never thought that things like that would amuse her at all. Wouldn't that be a problem for you, Tempest San? While I was at my thoughts, Kyo spoke to me while matching my walking pace. What do you mean? I looked at him and he also did the same. Kushida. She might try and do something harmful to you. Are you worried about me? He didn't respond and just looked away without a hint of change in his expression. Avoiding the subject, he sure is cold, isn't he? There's no real reason for you to go that far for me. So why did you went out of your way and changed Kushida's sight towards you? Walking in the coldness of the surroundings, Kyo asked me curiously. I took a deep breath and smiled at him. I guess you could say that I'm quite intrigued by her, and also, I can't just let my friend be friend like that can I? There was a moment of silence, he didn't speak for a minute as we continued to walk. I'm glad that you see me as your friend, Tempest San. For a guy like me, it's great to have someone like you to help me out. What a con artist. You're not fooling me with that. Well, I guess I could play along. I stopped on my tracks and he also did the same. He looked at my face with his usual expression without saying anything. You really think so? Kyo, is that really how you feel? Yes. Ever since I entered this school, I wondered if I could ever have someone to call my friend, but I never thought that it would happen sooner than I think. I sense a little bit of truth behind his word, but I think that's not really the reason why he wants to have something like friendship. Is that so? So do you consider me as your friend? I guess you could say that. I instantly slapped his back shoulder while giving him a genuine smile and said. Well then. If that's the case, you can call me anytime. Don't hesitate to call me if you're having troubles. I'll always lend you a hand. I see. Thank you. I'll be counting on you from now on. You liar. Well I guess that goes for both of us. Anyway Kyo, about Kushida what do you think we should do about her? Beats me. I don't have a clue. I think we could try being careful when we're around her. He doesn't seem concerned about it too much so I changed the subject. It's kind of funny isn't it? It's amazing how she kept that facade this long. I wonder if anyone else found out about her true personality though. That's rather hard to say. I giggled in his short reply. He didn't seem to mind so I asked him. Kyo. People like that are dangerous you know. They might act friendly and happy going, but deep down, they're usually the ones with schemes in mind. I don't know if I'm being rude when asking this but, are you implying that you're also the same, Tempest San? What do you think? My lips curved into a grin while I looked at the uncomfortable Ayana Koji. I can feel his guard raising to the highest level and his perception was in its peak. I can say you're far more dangerous than her though. That's funny hearing that from you. That's mean. I'm a good girl you know. I didn't know any single girl you can move like that though. You dodge her like it was nothing earlier. Kukuku. I'm just that cool right? Thanks for the compliment. You talk awfully good about yourself, Tempest San. That's something I must remember for preferences. I laughed at his words which confused him a little bit. So you're taking notes about me now? Well I don't really mind. Anyway, what about you Kyo? Are you the type who hides his true abilities? What makes you think that? Well you know, Shiyabashira sensei called you out about your exam papers didn't she? He sighed for a moment without changing his expression. Are you still on about that? I've told you many times didn't I? It was a coincidence? As we engage in a lively conversation, we've reached the destination where we have to go our separate ways. While saying our goodbyes, I spoke to Ayano Koji in a serious manner. Listen Kyo. There's no reason for us to worry about Kushida for now. If she cause problems then you can leave it to me. You seem confident about that. Is it because you have the recordings? Well other than that, there's something I need to tell you about. He focused on my next word and didn't respond. I don't know if you already found out but there's camera installed in the corners of our classroom. Have you noticed that? His expression slightly changed but not that visible if one is not perceptive enough. Is that true? Why would the school put a camera inside a classroom though? 
Well you see. Remember when our teacher announced the mistakes of our classmates on May 1st? Yeah? Do you think that the teacher continuously monitored everything on our classroom? It was clearly announced in details, indicating that there's someone helping her monitor our behavior. He seems to understand my reasoning and didn't refute. That's not really unbelievable. But if that's the case, then Kushida made a mistake by ranting inside the classroom, right? Yes. But that's not the problem. The school can just assume that it was just a student ranting inside the room and leave as that. We have zero points, so there's no worries about losing points, too. What are you getting at? The real problem is the threat she made. She deliberately tried to force you to shut up and hide her secret by creating a blackmailing tool, right? He looked at his hand and turned again towards me. Yeah. He placed my hand to her chest which was surprising to be honest. I didn't know what she was on about but it's clear that she was not happy seeing me there. That's right. If I haven't arrived in time and record everything, then you might be in trouble don't you think? But because of my intervention, her blackmail won't be in any use now. She can try denying it but I have ways to get that footage if I want. You do? Yes. I've got valuable sources you know. I grinned mischievous while I began talking in my thoughts. But if I haven't got there in time, I looked straight in his eyes. Then you've probably made a successful working parasite for our class didn't you? What are you looking at me for? He asked curiously. Nothing. I just find you handsome for some reason. Is that supposed to be a compliment? Yes. You're pretty handsome you know. I guess. Thanks for your help, Tempest San. We parted ways after that. When I arrived at my room I placed my bag on the couch and started heating up my food. He looked annoyed earlier don't you think? Affirmative. Ayanakoji was feeling irritated earlier but he doesn't know that he was feeling that way. Fufufu. I'd be surprised if he didn't care at all. Well it looks like you were right huh, something really interesting did happen. Well master made it interesting. After I finish heating up my food, Seal made a body out of thin air with a similar appearance like mine but with a red eyes. Let me help you master, she said while taking the tableware from the drawers. Thanks Seal. By the way, what do you want to eat for tomorrow? I'm feeling like I want to eat something cold for tomorrow. Ice cream would be ideal. I'll prepare that tomorrow if master wishes for it. Really? Then that would be great. We finished placing our dishes on the table and we both sat down in front of each other. Kyo sure is cruel too am I right? To think that she would use Kushida's threat as an advantage. Fufufufu. Looks like I've messed up one of his plans. That was truly a clever move if it happened. If Ayanakoji was successful, then he can use her as a weapon to create problems for Class D. But also, Ayanakoji seems to be also curious about Kushida's true personality too. Because of my intervention, Kushida's attention was now diverted primarily at me. With my popularity in the class, she can't just attack me aimlessly without thinking of a plan. And while she's busy setting up an expulsion plan for me, I'll use her for my own advantage. That's doable. But what kind of advantage does Master wants? I smiled at my partner who's always by my side. Information. I'll use her as my main information network. If she doesn't cooperate, then I will let her taste her own medicine. That's right. I'll blackmail her by exposing those tapes and the footage to the entire school and I bet she doesn't want that happening. You say that Ayanakoji is cruel but you're also not far behind him master. I picked up my spoon and took a sip of the chicken broth in my bowl. I've been thinking, maybe I'm getting far too involved in this class. She also looks like in an agreement with me. That's true. Master have been causing chaos ever since he entered this world. Well that's part of my title isn't it? Anyways, I'll probably lay low for now and continue to expand my connection right? That would be advisable. When the time comes, Ayanakoji will have a hard time eliminating Master if he tries to. And if problems arise, Master can easily solve it. I smiled unconsciously to CL's words. There's a lot of people I'm thinking of using and I'm planning to include some of my classmates in this whole charade. If he's collecting pieces then so am I I don't mind getting used by Kyo because that's part of the entertainment I wanted. But if he's gonna use me, then he better be prepared for the price he have to pay. You think he'd try eliminating me? That's in the realm of possibilities. Ayanakoji doesn't trust Master in the slightest, and he was too cautious to even try to antagonize you. Is that so? Well I guess that's to be expected. 
I wonder how he will react if I told him about the white room though. Looking at CL's face, she was not agreeing with my words. Ionikoji will 100% try with his full abilities to terminate master. Fuhahaha. Terminate huh? That's a bit extreme. That's the truth. But even if he did try, his chances of success is not that bad. Really? Are you saying that he have a high chance of defeating me? I asked curiously by what I just heard. Seal normally doesn't like losing but, her saying that there's chance that I might lose against him surprised me a little. Yes. With Master's current body, you are in an equal footing with Ionikoji. If you both got into a fight, Master might have a hard time fending him off. That's so. He's that skilled. Yes. Ionikoji is a highly trained person with quick adaptability towards his surrounding, but Master is also the same. Hmm. Then this will be really interesting, isn't it? Affirmative. But Master, if you wish for it, I can transfer some of your power to this body. That would be cheating, isn't it? I'll consider it. For the time, I'm thinking of laying low for a while. It's better if I build a good foundation right now. I took a spoonful of the chicken soup and extended it to seal. She was perplexed by the suddenness of my actions but she gracefully accepted it. It's delicious right? Yes it is. When we're done eating, both of us sat down in the bed while thinking what to do next. Anyways. How is Diablo and the others are doing? After asking her, she snapped her fingers and a 46-inch screen popped out in front of us. On the other side of the screen was a four young children who were bounded by large straps to their arms, leg, and neck. They were placed in laboratory table with many surgical equipment around them. Looks like the procedure is already starting. Ray is truly merciless towards kid. One by one, they were injected with a powerful serum that can enhance every senses of a human body. What an awful man. To think that he is willing to experiment on children so that he can surpass the working of the white room, I really can't approve of him huh? Indeed, but it surprised me master, you don't seem to be angry seeing this types of experimentation. Seal was looking at me with her crimson red eyes without a hint of emotion. Your eyes just look like as you know. Anyways, I'll bring justice to that place when the right time comes. I'm going to make sure their deaths won't be painless. I see. If master wishes it, I can remove that place from the history of the world in just a snap. Sheesh, CL's not joking isn't she? That might be a little bit too much. Anyways, let's leave it be for now. That place can serve as a training grounds for my subordinates when I reincarnate them in this world so I think it could still serve a good use. So that is your intentions. Very well. She didn't question me any further and just accepted my explanation. It was true that what the people doing in that place was horrible but that's nowhere near the standards of the cardinal world. Remembering those training with everyone back then was far more terrifying than this. Seal, have you informed them about me? Yes I have. They said that they will follow your orders and will remain in that facility for the time being. That's great news. I was worried that they might try and force their way in here on the moment they arrived at this world, but I guess I was wrong. Good thing they still listen to my orders huh? They're such a loyal bunch. We can hear the scientist inside of that laboratory working on the children, they are moving in a fast pace and in an organized manner so it was amusing for me to say the least. It won't take time until they're able to be familiar with those body, but I hope those enhancement could help them a bit. Master should not be worried, everything is going to be fine. You're right. Let's focus on this place for now. Seal and I went to sleep together after that talk, while laying around, I started thinking. When my fun is over, I closed my eyes. I'll destroy the black box to the ground. Kiyotaka Pav sitting in my bed. I've been fiddling with my phone for a while and checking previous messages. I've already done eating, so I'm just resting for a minute. I want to drink something cold. I felt like my body is requesting a cold drink from the vending machine from downstairs, so I changed my clothes into a casual one and heads out towards the elevator. Rimuru really is something else. I guess it's still my win today. Kushida was a very good pawn in my opinion and after seeing her true face, I thought that her value in class skyrocketed. But Rimuru, her value is far more higher than her which was kind of terrifying to think about. It's a shame but I guess I could leave her to Rimuru-san. When the elevator opened and I got out, I noticed a familiar figure walking down the dark corners of my dormitory. Someone's still out in this hour, looks like I'm not alone. 
Out of curiosity, I followed that figure in a stealthy manner without making any sounds. When I got near the corner, I heard a familiar voice that I always hear besides my table in class. I'm far different than the girl you once knew, Nisan. I'll prove to you that I've improved. Nisan? I heard you're in class D. Is that the kind of improvement you're talking about? Go home, Suzune. Nisan, please. I want to catch up to you, I'll reach class A and make you acknowledge me, so please, don't throw me away. It was surprising. I've never heard Horikita this way before. Reach class A? It's pointless if you're still the same Suzune, you'll never reach class A. I'll prove to you I will. I told didn't I? It's pointless. You should go back and return home while it's still early. Why can't you just believe in me? You really haven't changed huh? You're still the disobedient child I left three years ago. I took a peek in the corner of the building and I can clearly see the back of the student council president facing against Horikita who didn't seem to notice me. Listen to me as your older brother, leave this school. If they found out that my little sister is in class D then what do you think would happen? She really seems different than the usual Horikita I knew huh? I can't do that. I'll show you, I'll definitely reach class A. You? I can see him getting closer towards her and I'm sensing a great amount of danger so approach them quickly. You really are going to hurt your sister just now? I grabbed his arms which was about to strike Horikita and he was surprised when he saw my face. Who are you? I'm her classmate. There's pressure in the air and both of us are in a guarded position while I was holding his hand. Stop it Ayanokoji kun Horikita looks totally drained which was a new sight for me. When I released my grip, her brother instantly backhanded me in the face which I totally evaded quickly. Easy buddy. I already let go okay. When I got my distance, he tried kicking me on my unguarded spot but I instantly blocked it with my dominant arms. You're good. You train or something? Yes I do in piano and calligraphy. He rearranged his glasses and looked straight at me. Suzune. It looks like you've got an interesting friend. He's not my friend. He's just a classmate. The president turned his focus towards Horikita who was still averting her eyes from his gaze. I see. If you think you can reach class A while acting like that then you better just go home. While saying that, the president turned his back towards us and started moving away. Ionikoji. Someone placed a high expectations towards you. I hope you won't disappoint that person. Chiyabashira. Mind telling me who that was? He didn't respond and just left the two of us there. I looked at Horikita who are now calmed down and spoke. What was that all about? That's none of your concern. She said as she also started moving away. Wait, I have a question for you, Horikita-san. I don't have much time to spare so make it quick. Rethinking Kushida action earlier, I asked Horikita a question that has been bothering me for a while. What's your relationship with Kushida? Are you serious right now? Yes. I know very well that Horikita is a very blunt person but Kushida's rage earlier seems personal. I just find her annoying that's all, is that so? Have you met before entering this school? No, so she don't know her from before? Hmm, that's interesting. If they don't know each other from before then there's no reason for Kushida to act like that but what if? Then why are you avoiding Kushida? You even told me to not include her on the group study. I've told you before right? I find her annoying that's all. Why though? You're insistent aren't you? She's starting to get annoyed by this and I can feel that she wants to leave as soon as possible but. Not yet. Very well. To tell you the truth, I don't like hanging out with that types of people. And I don't really like hanging out with people in general. She finally gave in and responded to me with a sigh. For someone who hates being around people, you seem okay bossing me around, Horikita. We made a deal remember. A deal you forced me to do. It's your fault for eating those food you know. I ate those because I thought you intended to give it as a sign of goodwill. Nonsense. Everything in this world have a price you know and it's only natural to pay someone back when you owe them. You really are something else, Horikita. I could also say the same for you. After our slight bickering, I changed the subject. So what are you planning to do now? I'll reach class A like I've always planned. I will do anything even if I crawl. That's a really good dedication, but it's probably much easier if you worked with the class you know. They will only hinder me down. They're distractions and I don't want none of that. I don't know about that. 
Rimuru seems also serious about reaching class A you know. She might actually do it if things continue this way. Rimuru was working her best to improve our class. She's been conducting study groups with Harada and it looked like it's making progress unlike our study group. I also don't like her. I feel something off when I'm with her and it's making me feel unnerved. Hmm. So she also feel that way huh? I have the same experience as her when talking about Rimuru. She's odd and dangerous that's for sure. If that's what you feel then I won't question it. Anyways, about our study group, what are you planning to do about that? Forget about that. I got no time for failures. I guess, but have you considered the disadvantage if those students got expelled? No why? Well, I think there is some demerit if someone got expelled in our class. Demerit? She asked curiously. Yes. If the school is willing to deduct points because someone is late from class or even because they play inside the classroom then what do you think would happen if they got expelled and we didn't even help them out? Why does it have to do with us? It's their fault to begin with. You're missing my point. The school wants to help our classmates who are struggling. Harada and Rimuru already found out about that and started making moves. So, well you're always talking about reaching class A but with how things are, your brother is correct. She sighed and looked down. It seems like she finally understood what I'm trying to say which I was thankful for. You want me to work together with everyone right? I think that's impossible. You can say whatever you want Horikita but if you really want to reach class A, then cooperate with the class. Why are you telling me what to do? And also, you seem pretty talkative this time Ionikoji. I thought you don't like being in the limelight right? Well that's true. But if you're always asking me things then I might as well help you out. But I can't do that if you don't even see the problem for yourself. Does she really dislike working with others that much? I get what you mean Ionikoji kun so what do you intend to do now? That's up to you. If you really disagrees with helping them out then I won't ask you again. Looking at Mimi with clear resolve in her eyes, Horikita responded to me. I'll be helping them out, but in one condition. I have a bad feeling about this. And what's that? She smirked at me which I rarely see and spoke. You're gonna help me reach class A. I knew it. After acting like I was thinking about my decision, I replied back to Horikita. I'll take that deal, but I'll also put a condition of my own. And what's that? We will include Tempest San on our plans. She looks suspicious of me at first but she didn't refute my condition. Before that can I ask you a question? Sure go ahead. Why do you want her to come and help us? She looked curious about my intentions and I have no reason to hide that. I think she can be very helpful in reaching class A you know. That's all there is to it. Letting out a heavy sigh. Horikata gave her response. Fine, but you'll be the one dealing with her okay. Sure. After our conversation, I left the area and returned back to my room. I need countermeasures. I feel like things are about to go down soon. Opening my phone, I looked at my contact list and searched for Sudo and the other. Kushida, Horikita and Rimuru. Looks like I've managed to get myself a very useful tool.